everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Luann and today I'm going to bring to you my latest Dollar Tree haul. I'm so excited. Um, I've already feel Easter in the air. <laughs> I know it's weeks away, but I'm there. <laughs> so I wanted to uh, give you a sneak peek at everything that I picked up. And I do want to apologize in advance, should indeed my dogs decide to bark. You know, if you've watched my videos, I have two little pups. One is, well, they're not pups, actually. We have Bolt, who's nine, and he's a Bichon Maltese mix. And then I have Bucci, who is my Maltese. He is 13, turned 13 earlier this month. But you'd never know that they were senior dogs because they are crazy uh, any given time of the day. But right now they're sleeping, so I'm taking advantage of that. And the other thing is if by chance you hear the scanner in the background, you do know that I am part of the fire department and sometimes that just happens to go off. It's a part of my life, what can I tell you? But anyway, let's start on this haul. Uh, I'm gonna do actually the Easter items first. I was so excited, there was so much Easter in this store. So the first thing I thought of was my front door. I'm like, what am I gonna put on my front door? Well, look at him, isn't he adorable? Of course, we will not have the tag in front of his nose, so let's put that back here. He does hang up, he's got that satin uh, tie strap up at the top, but I thought he was so cute and he's a nice size, right? It would be perfect for the door. So I thought I have to have, he had to hop into my cart and he come home with me and he did. So pretty cool. And then I was shopping with Ed and Ed has now decided that he is also going to help me decorate the house. And he picked up this little bunny. He is the wooden, he's wooden. And uh, he just simply says, Happy Easter, with a little blush cheeks over there. Uh, little sparklies, little sparklies, which, of course, that's my favorite thing on anything is all the little sparkles. So, not sure where I'm going to put him, but since Ed picked him out, we'll find a nice spot for him. And the other thing I did uh, was actually pick up another sign. This one was welcome, and I loved the little tails. If you remember the last video, I found that pink truck, the Happy Easter pink truck. And it had the little bunnies hopping in the back and they all had their little cotton bunny tails. So when I saw this, I'm like, okay, I have to have this. He, I just think it's so cute. So that is also, we'll find a spot in the house for this too. And you know, it's, it's not difficult for me finding spots in the house, honestly, right? The difficulty is when the season is over and then I have to try and find spots to store this stuff for next year and then uh, try to refrain next year from buying more, but that's, that's a lost cause. Look, more little, more little cotton bunny tails. These are actually like paper clips. Look, I'll open it up for you. It is, these are just two adorable pink clothespins with little bunnies and little bunny tails. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to use these for. Um, really don't, but I actually have some magnet strips and these would be really cute if I put a magnet on here on the back, you know, those are the, the rolls of magnetic, uh, stripping and put that on and then it can, can become, uh, I can put it on my refrigerator or on my, uh, I was going to say cork board, but I have a magnetic cork board. So maybe that, that would, I would use them more that way. So sweet idea, right? Get out that magnetic tape. So that was just too cute. And of course I had to have a new garland. Well, actually garland because I this is the first time I'm having new garland. They had a bunch of different ones. They had blue, they had white, they had pink, and they had yellow. And the yellow has the yellow chicks. It was hard to decide, I have to tell you that. Um, the, there was, I think the white had the Easter eggs and there was the pink had the bunnies. And I thought, this is nice and bright. So I went with the yellow. I did get two of them because I do have a, a, an archway between my living room and the kitchen that I'm in now. And I do like to drape that. And then I need something to hang from it. So I saw this other and other garland. So I got two of those. And then I saw this other garland and I thought, ooh. But I thought I was only picking up one. And apparently I picked up two of these. <laughs> uh, yeah, I picked up two. I have to see they are together. I'm like, wait, I don't remember so many of them. Yep. 
so they must have stuck together in my cart, but that's okay. I will find a place for them. So I'll put this guy over here, but these are those styrofoam eggs and they're just so colorful. And yes, this is a garland, but I think I could actually hang that from the, from the yellow garland I have. If not, I will repurpose, maybe cut this and hang a couple of them from there because I do like in the center of the garland to hang something. So that is what I got. So I'm well on my way to decorating for Easter. But before Easter comes St. Patrick's Day, and this is very silly, I know, but I actually have a meeting um, next month. We host a corned beef and cabbage a meeting luncheon, and uh, it's just kind of a fun thing. Some people wear hats. Uh, I happen to... <laughs> I couldn't resist. I happened to be a vice president of this association. And I was like, oh, what can I wear? I already have the green tie. So, because we wear ties and stuff. And I already have a green one. But I'm like, oh, what can I wear on my head? And I was going to get those bobber things, you know? But I found this tiara. I thought this was so funny. I said, oh, I'm going to wear this. Let's see how long I can get away with wearing this up at the front desk. <laughs> I said, okay, well, Lynn's, a, well Lynn's an officer. She has to wear a crown. Oh, my gosh. Well, luckily, everyone will laugh along with me because it's just they know I'm silly. I found a couple of toys, of course. Um, first off, I've seen a lot of people hauling these, the squishies. All right. So here's this uniform, a, a unicorn uniform, unicorn. And I was really surprised, even though I'd seen... Um, them like shy town girl i know she's addicted to squishies um jennifer moen has had them i've seen them but i've never noticed realized how big they were this unicorn is big now here's my dilemma do i give this unicorn away or do i just leave it on the side and stress ball stress ball <laughs> Leave it as a dress ball. I don't know, but it's so colorful. It's got the green, it's got red, it's got so many colors on it. It really is cool. I said, okay, I'm not going to collect squishies, but I happen to like this unicorn, so I picked it up. And going into the uh, animal, the animal category, I also found this like Miss. It says pony, but isn't this like My Little Pony? Right? Isn't it's kind of reminiscent? It comes with the hairbrush. And it even turns its head. I just, that's a, it's an adorable little toy. So I am definitely putting this away. And then while I was walking through the book aisle, I always check out the books. But this time I wasn't impressed with, with the books that I saw. But I did find My Little Pony CD. All right, or DVD, I should say. Now this is a Cutie Mark Quest, I guess is the name of the company. And it is I believe it says, I've, I checked it out, can't see it without my glasses now, but I do believe it says it's 110 minutes. So awesome, right? I thought this is great. Whether I keep it here and I wait for my great niece to come up or Ed's um, great niece to come up, then, you know, I can have something for them to watch. So otherwise, this will definitely go in someone's gift bag. And I found also this adorable little bib. It says Little Prince. Now I've seen the bibs, the, you know, the Sesame Street bibs, but this one is the, 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 um, the, the nylon, I was gonna say Vinon, the nylon. And it has a little catch, you know, the catch uh, pocket here. I just thought that was really cute. So of course I have to have that too. And the last child's gift. Well, no, I actually have, oh, before we do that, look at the blind bags I found, Play-Doh. It's actually called dough modeling dough, dough modeling dough, but we all know that it's Play-Doh, right? Um, not the brand name, but that's what's in here. It is like really packed. There's a lot of stuff in here. So I guess we just don't know what color we do. It's yellow. <laughs> yes, but you have just a lot of play with some ideas of what you can do. So these are definitely going into my bin for future, uh, for the Toys for Tots. As you know, I do collect for that kind of stuff. So that'll go there. And my last, but look at the size of this coloring book. Hello, it is huge, huge coloring book. Why is there only half a page yet? Oh, we have to finish the pick. You know what? That's really cool. So they give you half a page and then you have to do the, the mirror image. That's super. There's also stickers in here. 
Now this, and let's see what else, because I showed you a page that has surprised me. I mean, oh, they're not, that's, I keep opening the same page. Oh my, I keep opening the same page. I think there's a few of those things. Anyway, there we go. Here's a picture, the color, a full picture. I guess it's, oh, they're like flowers. Okay, Mary, Mary, Lily of the Valley, maybe. <laughs> anyway, I thought this was great. Uh, you know, very impressive. They also had um, dinosaurs, and I think the other one was vehicles of some sort. I kind of remember seeing something with vehicles on it, but I did pick up two of these princess ones. So they will, of course, I don't know where I'm going to store them because of the size of them, but I'll figure something out. I have a couple of more things to show you. If you remember my last video, I had shown you this glass, right? I think I had stuck something in there so you could see that it says, uh, bloom, bloom where you're planted. Well, look what I found to match it. Bloom, it's upside down. Bloom where you're planted, the dish towel. So I'm like, awesome, right? So now I have the two things. I think these will make an absolute great raffle prize. And one of the associations that we go to, I have a meeting in April. So this will go right along and perfect, right? Spring, April, spring, Easter, bloom where you're planted. Now I have the glass and a towel to go with it. And between now and then, who knows what other ones I'm gonna find. <laughs> I'll be on the lookout for sure. I did pick up, I couldn't resist. I picked up a couple more candles. These are new to me. These are called Air Fresh. I do think that they do the solids also, right? And this one happens to be uh, Magnolia and Cherry Blossom. Nice size jar. These are for me, so I'm gonna open them up. It just smelled so pretty. So I said, okay, let me, let me have that. Cause I like to burn the smaller candles like this, the small jar candles in the bathroom, like when I take in the bath and stuff. It's just, just, it's just so like invigorating. And the other one that they had was Angel Orchid. Now I did notice that this one is also very light, but very pretty. So I'm interested in see how well it'll throw. I have my bathroom small, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I did also notice that they had those layered ones, like two different flavors, flavors. Um, but I prefer the the full one flavor if it's Luann. <laughs> I have those. A couple other things to show you. Um, I did pick up. Now I know that you're going to say, Luann, this is a toy, okay? Sure, it's silly putty really silly putty but i had an idea here because you know how um i've seen them selling like sticky things in order to help dust between crevices and you know get those little things that you just can't normally get in cleaning and i thought you know what i bet you silly putty will work so i will report back on that because i remember silly putty as a kid you know it picked up the newspaper print that was the big thing you know you press it down on the comics and then you pick it up and you had the comic on it and you just mix it all up and it cleans itself off. So I thought this would be really good. I mean, just think of the different things, whether it's on my keyboard or, well, I was gonna say between the, the blender keys, but my blender doesn't have keys anymore like that, the buttons. It's all just press the flat surface, but I know that I can make use of this. And like I said, I will report back to see how well it actually does. You know, I think that's just kind of a, I don't know, it struck me. And another thing here, like the Silly Putty that I picked up that is not going to be for Silly Putty purposes, um, I did hear that whether it be Polydent or Everdent, these, um, the little tablets, do you guys, have you guys ever heard this? That they're actually good in, to clean your toilets? Yeah, so I don't have um, false teeth where I'm going to use that for that purpose. So I am going to check this out in the toilet bowl and I'll report back. <laughs> yeah, Lillian's just easily convinced. You can do this. Okay, fine. I'll try it. For a dollar, what can you go wrong, right? I also found something new too in the cleaning department. Have you guys seen this? This is the, it's kind of like the Swiffer, you know, with the handle and the dust thing. So I thought this is under Scrub Buddies and Scrub Buddies does sponges and other items. Uh, it is a, I wanna say it's a Greenbrier product, but I don't see. It is, yep, a Greenbrier product. So I'm gonna check that out and it would be, 
Well, it's kind of taped here. It's kind of taped. Trust me. I'm sure it looks just like the picture. <laughs> I'm sure it does. All right, Luann. Okay. We got it. We got it. Because I was going to be determined to show you anyway. So let's see. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Hello. Does this look familiar? It does to me. Even has the... Even has the dent, you know, the the bend, and then there's our little claw. So yeah, it's gonna act just like Swiffer, or so I hope. I like the Swiffer ones because they're so easy and they're quick to get, you know, to dust the uh, the areas real quickly without having to get the sprays and everything else, just real quick. Um, one of the things that we do buy a lot of is our um, light bulbs. So we picked up a couple of packages of these. Light bulbs are so expensive. And the lights in my house, I don't care if I've spent $7 for a pack of four or $1 for a pack of two. Um, they, I have a problem in my kitchen. I'm always blowing bulbs in my kitchen. I did have an electrician look at it. They said it's not a problem with my wiring. So I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna stick with buying these because I blow the, the more expensive ones just as quickly. So why not? And I found two more items. Okay, so you know I already purchased this. Dollar a pack, bumblebee with a spoon. And I did, we went to the store, definitely $1.39 out there. So I'll save my 39 cents wherever I can. But I found a new flavor. Look at this. Roasted garlic and herb. So pretty cool for lunch, right? Reminds me of Charlie, Charlie the tuna and, uh, <laughs> and the commercial. Thanks, Charlie. So... Yes, this is Bumblebee. It is not Charlie the Tuna, and Luann's very happy. She now has a new flavor. And last but not least, my all-time, one of my all-time keto favorites is pork rinds. Now, you say, okay, Luann, you're not into pork rinds, which, by the way, are delicious with salsa and spinach dip, and you got the same crunch as a potato chip, just don't have the, you know, the... Um, the grains and stuff. Okay, you're not doing starches with today with pork rinds. But you know what I use these for? Well, I use them for breadcrumbs without bread. So I put these in the blender, break them down to a powder, you know, a breadcrumb consistency, and then I do whatever I'd like to do, whether it's fried shrimp. I made chicken parm the other night because you have the chicken color. This is the breading and the mozzarella with the sauce, and it's delicious. So I do stock up on these, not only as a snack, but also as a regular cooking item. So I don't know if you've ever used them, but if you haven't, it's definitely worth a try. Anyway, so that is my haul for today. I thank you so much for joining me. Please give this video a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. It helps me out on the algorithm so that YouTube doesn't lose me anywhere down in the zillions of videos that there are. So anyway, have a great day, rest of your afternoon or evening, whenever you're looking at this video. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, button because I would love to have you as one of my YouTube friends. Take care guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye